Okay, good morning everybody and welcome to Pilates on a Friday morning. This is the official last live Pilates class of um, yeah, the whole, <laughs> the whole 13 months um, online anyway. So um, yeah, it's been a real pleasure and thanks to those that have joined me this morning. Uh, we have had a bit of a change this week. So what I thought we'd do this morning is I'm going to do a, a release and hold um, set. I haven't done this one before, so it's a good one to keep on the page. And like I said, we are going to be keeping that page active. We may throw in an odd class here and there, depending on our schedules, but all the on-demand content will still be available and we will try and put more on-demand content. So if you are feeling like you need a workout and uh, there's nothing going on and you can reach for one of those videos and do it at a time that suits you so um as always listen to your bodies if there's anything you need to modify allow for any modifications and that may be modifications to make things a little bit easier or things a little bit more challenging like i said this is a release and work set so there'll be some release exercises to just de-stress and sort of move the body about and then there's work exercises so it may really make you think about the core what muscles are you being used during the set okay so um let's start down on the floor on our backs so make sure that your space is as comfortable as possible <laughs> and we're going to do hip um knees hip width apart feet hip width apart and everything is parallel so allow the arms to just rest down so not up to the side not above the head just rest down in sort of a, a V or an upside down V whichever way you look at it and I want you just to start to focus on how your back is naturally you're not going to force it into the floor you're not going to lift it up just just allow yourself to lay there and think about how your back is laying naturally without doing anything now just allow yourself to drop those shoulders down so they're really pushing down towards the fingertips and now I want you to just draw the breath in so you're going to lift that rib cage exhale and in most pilates classes i can't actually wait to get back teaching live classes um for those that have been to any of my live classes you know that there is a lot of explanation i get time to walk around the class and see you guys and just check out you're in the correct body positions i just can't wait to see humans <laughs> other than the humans i live with all right, so you want to now bring your hands onto your chest. And draw the breath in, lift the ribcage up as much as you can. And exhale. Good. Inhale. And exhale. And just allow yourself now to scan your body from the head down to the toe. As you're taking that inhale, exhale, just allow yourself to do like a full body scan and sort of hover that scan over the lumbar region. So this part, the lower part of the back, how is that lower part of the back? How is it sitting when you're doing this exaggerated breath? Does it rise? Does it lift off more from the floor? Does it press into the floor? There should be, or there would be a natural, in most cases, a natural curve in the lower part of the back, that lumbar region. And sometimes when you take that exaggerated breath, it will lift off. And then when you allow the breath to press out, try and press the lower part of the back into the floor as hard as you can. And I want you to press it into the floor that your tummy muscles will start to contract. So they'll start to tighten and squeeze. So every time you exhale, really think about pushing the lower part of the back into the floor a little bit more. And we're just going to work this for about 30, 40 seconds. And you're working it at a pace that works for you. Perfect. So 
So like I said, it is tension and release, so work and release today. So we're going to start with a release. I want you to take the arms out nice and wide on the floor. Bring your feet together, bring your knees together. You're going to drop your knees down to the right side of your room. Allow the knees to collapse into the floor if they will go there. Now, if you've got quite good um, flexibility within the back, within the spine, you can allow yourself to extend the leg out or maybe wrap it underneath the lower leg. And that adds a little bit more tension. It'll allow you to open out the back a little bit more. I'm hoping that my head mic does have enough battery for the whole set. If for any reason that I do go silent, just um, do me a favour, someone chat box me and say, Louise, your head mic has gone off or we can't hear you. And I will switch my audio set in. Good, and then bring everything up knees together feet together and then you're going to allow yourself to just relax down to the left side of your rooms and again try and keep your shoulders pressed evenly into the floor so your shoulders don't lift off they're evenly pressed into the floor and you're sort of twisting from the thoracic region so from the middle of the back and like i said if you've got quite good back flexibility, good mobility within the spine. You can extend your leg out if you want to add a little bit or even tuck it under the bottom leg. And that also gets into this one, also gets into the sciatic nerve as well. Really, really good for mobility. unravel the leg or bring the legs back to a neutral position so we're going to go into our first work set so I want you to allow the right knee to come up and the left arm to go up towards the ceiling now I want you to take a moment and really push the lower part of your back into the floor you're going to extend the leg out and bring it in and then extend the arm back and then bring it up what we're going to do is try and put that together. Good. So look down towards the foot, really press the lower back. Good. And if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, you can actually lift the um, left leg off the floor as well. And to make it even more difficult, you can actually lift the arm off you will feel that core engage keep pressing the lower back into the floor let's do four more four three remember push the back in two and one good now switch the leg so left leg comes up and make sure it's a tabletop position so 90 degrees right arm up towards the ceiling and just Sort of settle yourself first. So extend the left leg, extend the right arm back, and then you're going to put it together. Every time you extend, take an inhale and push the lower back into the floor. <sighs> Exhale as you bring it back. Inhale. Keep pushing the lower back. Your tummy muscles should feel engaged. And like I said, look down towards the foot. Bring the chin to the chest if you can. And if you want to make it more difficult, you can bring, oh, this is a little bit of coordination as well. <laughs> Let's do four more. Four. 
three, two, and one. Good. Now you release. So put your back into the floor. Bring your knees into your chest. Really push or pull the knees down into the floor, down into your chest. And you're going to rock from side to side, trying to press the whole of your back into the mat, into the floor. Looking up towards the ceiling. Keep the head in contact with the floor, with your mat. And then just allow yourself to hold there, pulling the knees right down into the chest for five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now bring your feet back to a neutral position, so hip width apart. We're going to scoop the tailbone, rising it up to a shoulder bridge position. So scoop the tailbone, lifting up. Exhale it down. Good. Take an inhale here. Exhale up. Inhale at the top. Exhale down. Good. Now, every time you lift, think about going to your maximum point, wherever that may be. And if you want to lift onto the balls of the feet and maybe do a couple of pulses, if to, you want to increase the intensity, you can pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then lower down. So it's up to you which one you want to work. So it's shoulder bridge without the pulse or shoulder bridge with the pun. pun uh, with the punch with the pulse okay so i'm going to let you work this for about 45 seconds and i'm just going to check the live room very well done just turn my sound off on my phone i did hear it Good guys, well done. Halfway, over halfway actually. 15 seconds left. Set my camera angle Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, good job. All right, so into your release now. So you extend your legs down, extend the arms back. Really lengthen through the body as much as you can. Take a full body stretch. Take an inhale here, hold, and then relax. And again, so full body stretch. Extend the legs. Inhale. Exhale. Good, and one more. Good, perfect. All right, bringing the um, feet back up, knees are bent, knees are hip width apart, feet are hip width apart, and we're going to do some Pilates hundreds. So I want you to draw the chin into the chest, lift the arms six inches off the mat. You're going to try and pick your shoulders up off the floor. And I want you to imagine that your shoulders and your hips are like a bowl. So you want to keep that really closed in. And then you're going to inhale. Press your arms. Two, three, four, five. Exhale. Look through your knees. Good. Keep that going. Keep pressing your lower back into the floor. Look in through your legs. Squeeze that abs. Squeeze your abs down. And it's all about the breath. So keep the breath going. Exhale. And it's 10 breaths. That's why it's called Pilates hundreds because you end up doing 100 presses, little baby presses with those arms. Good. Already on breath number eight. I'm quite handy at keeping count. <laughs>
good. All right, we're going to roll onto our bellies and come up to a baby cobra position. So it's a back extension. Actually, no, it's not. It's a back flexion because your spine is curving and it's decreasing. Back extension would be the roll downs. So this is a back flexion, also really, really important. So like I said, release and work, release and work. So we're extending, lengthening the abs and flexing the back. Good. And we're going to do another set. So rolling over. So set yourself first, arms um, six inches off the floor, about. Chin to the chest, pick your shoulders up, look through. Now, I'm going to talk about modifications. Keep this going, breath in, two, three, four, five, breath out, two, three, four, five. Uh, don't forget, I will keep count, don't panic. I'm on my fingers. So if you need to modify, you can pop a pillow behind your head and just allow yourself to come up um, off the pillow when you can, when you feel so. Always push your lower back into the floor. And if you want to make it a little bit harder, you could, if you wanted to, take the feet off the floor. So there's modifications to make things easier, to make things more difficult. Good, breath number eight. <laughs> All right, onto the tummy, and we're going to go for back flexion again. So extending the abs, head down towards the floor. And this time we're going to stay onto the on the front because we are going to work our lower back. We're going to work our stabilizers as well. So everything that sort of centers our body works on our posture. So I want you to extend the arms forward. This is where I'll struggle because I've got a head mic on, which um, needs to be. <laughs> Ideally, you wanna um, have your forehead down on the floor and keep your forehead looking towards the floor. Okay, I can't do it because I've got a head mic on and I'm gonna swallow my head mic if I do that. So I want you to lift the left leg and lower. Lift the right leg and lower. So this is your base level or your starting point. Now just changing that left leg lift, then right leg lift. Try and lift it to a point where you can feel a little bit of a pinch in your lower back. Good. Now, if you want to increase the intensity, I want you to work the opposite arm. So as your left leg lifts, your right arm will lift. And then you lower. Inhale, lift the other side, lower. And the aim when you are doing this exercise is that your legs are nice and straight. So you just don't want to bend from the knee down because that doesn't work your glutes. It doesn't work the lower back muscles. It's really important to make sure that that straight leg remains as you're lifting. And then that'll engage the stabilizers and everything that centers that postural line. Good. Let's work this for 10 more seconds. Good. Now bring the arms into the chest and you're going to push up onto all fours. So we're coming into a release again. So head comes up, inhale here. Exhale, round the back. Inhale. Exhale. Really round the back as much as you can. I'm going to take my um, jumper off because it's a bit baggy and you can't see my tummy pulling in and pulling out or my back lifting. Good. We're going to come down into some plank work now. So down onto your elbows. 
and I want you to, I'm going to show you a modification first. You're going to see I've pushed my tailbone back. I want to bring my tailbone forward so that my shoulders are towards my hands or over my hands. Tuck my tailbone under and that makes me mean that I'm engaging my tummy muscles. I'm squeezing. Okay, you can decide to choose to stay there or you can come up onto your feet. Okay, so if everybody goes to that position for me, and then I'm gonna talk you through the next phase. So you're in that plank position, either on your knees or up on your feet. Now, rainbows, so you drop from side to side. Keep the back rounded and you wanna move like this. Good, let's do five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now knees down, push your tailbone back as far as you can, open your shoulders, and opening out that lower back here, get right down into that tailbone, right down into that sciatic nerve. Okay, so let me demonstrate the next one. So again, you're gonna take your plank position. Your plank position can be down on your knees if you need it to, or it can be up on your feet. If you want a further modification, you could come up onto your couch and just do it here. All right, so there's lots of different choices with your plank position, but what I want you to do is really pull the belly button in and round the back, okay? So these are called your Spider-Man taps. Um, and you basically are tapping out side to side. Now, if you want to make it harder, you can lift the knee. If you want to make it easier, drop the knee down and then just extend. Just extend. Okay, so we're going to work this for 30 seconds. Get ready. I'll come in and check the room. Yes, I do have a Fitbit now. <laughs> Claire knows this. Ready, and off you go. I'm so excited. Good, that's it. So really think about squeezing your glutes as you're working, folks. Good, lovely, well done. Over halfway. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Good, so take it back now. So this time we're gonna come a little bit um, higher, but bring your toes together, sit back as far as you can, and just round the back here. So we're not extending the arms out, and I want you to sort of drop your tailbone from side to side. You're rocking that lower back out. So this is your release. Okay, so just take a moment. I'm going to demonstrate the next one. And again, you then can choose which uh, one you want to do. So we're going to do some extensions and into the knee. So if I start at um, the modified version, I'm on the chair and I'm just going to bring my knee in. But if I can, I want to bring it across the body. So it's like step in across towards the armpit. Okay, and you can do that on your elbows or up on your arms. So that's your modified version. So then you can do that on your feet in a high plank position or a low plank position. Now the low is slightly harder because you haven't got as much space. Okay, or third choice, you go from extension, you move your shoulders forward, then bring it across. And then we do one side three times and then the other side three times so choose which one you want to do and again we're going to work this one now for 45 seconds because it takes a little bit longer to 
bring your, your legs across the body. Get ready and off you go. I'm just checking everybody. Lovely, that's it. So if you are trying the leg extension, make sure you push the floor away like it's the enemy. So really push strong through the shoulders and then you want to bring it right across towards that armpit. Good, and just do three and then switch. You want to strengthen through the shoulders, through the upper part of the back, top of the abs. I love a plank position. <laughs> All right, well done, guys, and bring it down. <laughs> okay, so last time we're going to send the hips back onto the heels, open the shoulders, bring the forehead down to the floor, and allow yourself to release. Good, work a few breaths there. Okay. So we're going to do an exaggerated tailbone lift now. So this is the one where you lift the head up and you start off in that um, cow position. And then you lift the knees off the floor, push the head through, drive the heels in, bring it up. And then you hover the knees. Once again, exaggerate the tailbone. Good. Off you go. And again, a modification would be just to do this as far as you can. You don't have to go all the way up to that downward dog position. Ready? Off you go. Let's do this 45 seconds. I'm loving my new little Fitbit. <laughs> it's changed my life. Even like being just more mindful. More mindful about getting my steps in. seconds left everybody that's it really exaggerate that tight tailbone lift so like arch your backs as you lift think of, of it as like you know like when a cat gets up and they do that that stretch Perfect. All right, let's bring it up onto the feet. And this is our release. So we're going to fold, allow the head to fold down, hang heavy. Let all any tension, any stresses fall away from the head. Make sure the knees are not straight. I want them just softened so that you're opening out the lower part of your back here. Maybe sway your tailbone from side to side. Imagine you're, you've got a tail and you're just allowing yourself to sway from side to side, big lion's tail, trying to release any tension out. This is really good for sciatica sufferers. And then you're going to roll it up really, really slowly. And I want you to stack your vertebrae as you roll. So think about that line as you're coming up. Perfect. Allow yourself to sway from side to side and knock on the door of life. Make sure you don't knock yourself out so that, you know, you don't wanna hit yourself so hard on the back that your teeth fall out, you know? So it's just a case of just swaying from side to side and allowing yourself to gently just get that energy, get that blood flowing around the body by gently tapping on the front and on the back. Perfect. Now from here, take your top hat off. So bring your hands to here. You're going to extend the arms up. 
turn the palms. Exhale. Decrease the distance between the shoulders, chin to the chest and roll it down. And again, roll from the top of the head, top of the neck, right down into that tailbone. And as you roll down, the lower back should be open. Leave any tension fall away from the head. And if you're looking for a little bit more of a dynamic open, you can maybe hold your elbows or link your elbows and allow yourself to hang a little bit heavier there. Good. Now, very, very slowly, roll it up, tuck your tailbone under and stack your vertebrae until you're up into that neutral position. Once again, take that sway from side to side, knocking on the door of life. Good, now hands here, inhale, lifting up. Turn the palms. Rolling those shoulders forward chin to the chest and roll it down one more time take your time as you roll down really really take your time lovely guys well done that's it that's it so you roll down you're folding down you're here leave any tension any stresses fall away from the head so relax your head Good. And then in three, we're going to roll it up. Two, one, and roll it up. Perfect. So we're just going to come into a chair set. I'm going to turn to the side for this one. I'm going to send my heels back or my hips back down towards my heels, lifting my arms up, and then here. And what I want you to do is make sure your feet are hip width apart. Imagine you have a small football size three football or um, a pilates ball between your knees and you want to squeeze the inner thighs as you go into this sit position good perfect 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 that's it so you want nice flat backs engage the core keep working there so sitting down and standing up let's do three more ready and sit down and stand. Good. Good, 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 guys. Well done. All right. So this time we're going to go down. So you may want to watch this first. I haven't done this on any other set. You're going to go down. Your hands can be here or there. And you're going to transition and tap and then down one leg. Oh. All right, let's go for eight. Eight on one side, eight on the other. So this is your stabilizers working now. So you have to figure out, are you more centered if your arms are up? And then don't ever lock my knee. The one that I'm, I don't ever lock it to here. I'm slightly bent, I go down. My hips are always neutral, parallel. Oh, and I can feel that toothachy feeling kicking into the leg. And allow yourself to check your line as well. So what you don't want to do is go down and be all like twisted. You want to stay, lift it up through the body and lift. Once you've done eight, switch on to the other side. Good. And what you'll find for most people is that you'll have a dominant side, that one side will be stronger than the other, that you may be more stable on one side than the other side. Good. Perfect. Allow yourself to soften the knees and sway back to that position there. So we're going to do some up and overs. So bring one hand onto the thigh, lift the other arm up, inhale here, lift up and over. And go as far as you can. Inhale. 
so this is your mid range if you want to bring your hands here and just work going over to the side just as far as you can you can do if you want to make it more difficult you can lift both arms up so it adds more weight to that core area and you're taking it just as far as you can let's stay here for another 15 seconds and remember your inhale happens when you come back to neutral exhale as you curve good seven six five four three two one perfect other side inhale up and so I'm starting you off on the base level if you want to make it easier you can put your hands there if you want to make it more difficult you can pop your hands there just remember inhale as you bring it back exhale as you curve over let's go 15 seconds on this side as well good and just do a body check allow yourself to make sure you are staying directly on the side that you're not leaning forward that you're not leaning back because you don't want the pressure in the wrong areas And then we're going to come into our release in three, two, one. Feet hip width apart, open out, inhale here. Give yourself a big, big hug. Try and reach as far back onto your shoulder blades as you can. And just allow yourself to check which elbow you've got on top. And then hunch. Maybe sway. And release. Good. Now inhale and give yourself a big hug. Make sure the other arm is on top. Try and reach towards those shoulder blades and hunch over. Give yourself a big, big hug. Sway from side to side, side. My life is like a musical this morning. If you would join me in bar, then I was singing a little bit of Joe Cocker in that. Not to everybody delight mind. All right, well done, everybody. Okay, so our last um, work. So we're gonna rock back, come up onto the balls of the feet and lift up. Now, take the time to squeeze the inner thighs. You can rise it up if you want to, hold in there. We're aiming to hold without wobbling for 10, nine, squeeze your tummy muscles, eight, seven, good six just checking the light room five four focus three two and one bring the hands down onto the hips and just allow yourself to send the weight back onto the heels picking your toes up good one more inhale rising up focus there stabilize squeeze your glutes as well seven six five four three two one and down onto the heels pick your toes up spread your toes if you can lovely perfect sway <laughs> from side to side now allow yourself to rotate circle the hip softening the knees though And then the other way. And then we're gonna go into some hip tilts. So sticky bum out and tuck your tailbone under. Sticky bum out, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, keep that going. So I want you to cross one leg over. So um, if you guys cross your left leg over, lift your right arm up and you create a C. That's it. Oh, soften out. Other leg, other arm and create that C. So you're sort of pushing into the hip and reaching over to the opposite side. Oh. 
and then sway the arms. Perfect. Now feet together, take an inhale, rising up. Bring the hands together, bring it down to your heart. Inhale, rising up. Shake it out, shake your legs. Thank you so much for joining me this morning, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it set you up for the day. I hope it's been a bit of a release uh, for you this morning. Like I said, this will be saved. It will be put on the page um, either this evening or over the weekend or maybe a little bit later if I get two minutes. Um, but yeah, I will see some of you this evening for movies and musicals. And I look forward to teaching some of you live.